Hey guys, it's Dr. Shuri here from HealthFit, and today we're talking about FAI syndrome, also known as femoroacetabular impingement syndrome. And so what that really means is just pre premature contact between the acetabulum, so just kind of in your hip joint, and that head of the femur, which is like the femur here, head of the thigh bone really. And sometimes it can kind of cause that pinching sensation in the front. Other symptoms do include, you know, sometimes pain in the thigh, in the buttock region. Mostly, usually people report more discomfort or pain in the front of the groin. And so we're going to talk about more about how to kind of treat that and manage that. And so if you are in pain, obviously, you should see your healthcare provider who can do a full evaluation and treatment, um, as well as getting you back to doing what you are doing. And so most of the research is looking at, you want to make sure that you have enough flexibility around the hip because the hip joint is a ball and socket. And so it's really built for motion. But a lot of us, as human beings, we sit so much. And so our hip flexors get tight. We kind of stay in this position that kind of causes more tension in the front. And so if we do activities that require a lot of bending of that hip, which we call hip flexion, running, jumping, even sports in general, even squatting to pick up your baby or your child, your dog, potentially, it requires a lot of demand on the hip joint. So we want to make sure that you have enough hip mobility as well as hip strength. And so a lot of what your provider may do with you is to improve your flexibility and really strengthen your hip rotators because that's going to help move the hip in the way that it's supposed to move. With the FAI syndrome, it can kind of feel like pinching because there's not enough space in that joint and so it just keeps kind of a budding in that. Obviously your provider will help you kind of improve on the flexibility and the strength because if you can improve how the thigh bone is sitting into a socket, you should have a lot more range and strength in order to do what you need to do without the hip joint being compromised. So if you are in pain, please seek your um, healthcare provider who's going to do a full assessment um, and kind of give you guidance. And so what's most commonly recommended for treatment is obviously working the soft tissue around the hip. So whether that's by your provider or you can do some foam rolling, some more cross wall work around the tissues to loosen them up because most often the hip muscles around the hip kind of tighten up and kind of cause more tension because there is pain and so it kind of limits how you're walking using the hip. And so after the soft tissue work, you can work on some hip flexibility that's not painful of course, and then a lot of hip strengthening. And so with the hip mobility work, there, you may have seen people do like self banded distractions and so we'll kind of show you how to do that as well. And so you can kind of watch and kind of understand how to do that as well. But of course, try not to do anything that's painful or push you in more pain, but actually ask your provider and they will give you more guidance. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this, please comment below, subscribe, check out our uh, website at healthfitting.com and hope to see you soon.